This is a Regain Wellness Supplement Review with Jamie Logie. Today I'm reviewing BioSteel. Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to the Regain Wellness Supplement Review brought to you by RegainWellness.com. I'm Jamie Logie and... Um, with the whole supplement review thing, I'm kind of taking the years and years of experience I've had working not only in gyms, but in nutrition stores, nutrition centers, supplement stores. Basically, I've been exposed to hundreds and hundreds of products, um, a lot, you know, things I'll use regularly myself, things I've tried because I want to be able to stand behind it if I was selling it, um, things that I've you know, just wanted to be able to speak from experience on when someone wanted input on it. And that's the whole point with the show today. I thought I'd use a bunch of that knowledge and, and wrap it all up together. So today I'm reviewing BioSteel, which you're starting to see everywhere. <clears throat> and you're probably, I mean, this is more specific to North America, but you're seeing the ads um, and the hashtags for Drink the Pink. And that's a lot, you know, behind their marketing campaign and starting to really be exposed with a lot of top athletes and you've probably seen this or if you haven't you're wondering what it is it's a pretty amazing product and i'm going to go into the whole you know where it comes from what it is what it does just give you a kind of a quick snapshot here in the podcast so let's get right to it so just to start off i have no connection with biosteel whatsoever i don't they're not endorsing this whatever these supplements I have no connection to. They're just things I personally have used or find interesting or I think are worth talking about. And that's the case here today. So BioSteel is really geared towards um, athletes and people uh, who are engaging in, you know, some high intensity related activities or training. You don't necessarily have, obviously have to be a professional athlete, but that's, um, you know, it's it's a little higher end as far as their the clientele, I guess, that they're gearing towards. But obviously, it can have benefits for a lot of people. So the whole idea with BioSteel, um, and it has a lot of connections to hockey and the NHL, and it's being seen as kind of dismissing Gatorade and kind of push, slowly starting to push them to the side as we're learning how Gatorade is really not it's all it's cracked up to be. It's really promoted as being you know, a godsend as far as what it is for athletes, but it's, you know, primarily a lot of uh, sugar and coloring with a little bit of sodium and potassium thrown into the mix. And uh, I have I did a whole, I've done a few episodes on Gatorade and just, you know, just so you can get a little more insight into why this might not be something you need unless you're like an extreme, extreme athlete and training ridiculous amount of hours and high temperatures and stuff like that. But if you go today to regainwellness.com slash biosteel, I'll link up all the stuff for t I've been talking about here. So the way, um, the way biosteel sort of got on the scene was it's, you know, one of those things that's kind of create like all good inventions. It comes about as of necessity and I'm um, just trying to solve a problem. And that's, where BioSteel comes from. So it's it started, um, again, if you don't watch ho hockey or the NHL, you might not have seen this as much, but it, it started with this, uh, you know, new brand that people were starting to see in, you know, locker rooms and on jerseys and on the logos of, th like, on different uh, bottles and people are seeing, uh, you know, they weren't seeing the familiar Gatorade green bottle everywhere and, uh, some top athletes like Steven Stamkos or uh, Mike Camilleri from the Canadians um, starting to talk about this new drink and that they've been, they use it year round. This is around, you know, 2011 where it's becoming a little more prominent. So people are starting to uh, wonder what this is. And at the same time, Gatorade, who is, uh, you know, involved with the NHL is not super thrilled that they're seeing this other beverage kind of muscling in on their, their territory. So the story starts with a guy named Matt Nickel, who is one of the main trainers for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And it goes back to you know, around 2004. So the NHL brought in its first anti-doping kind of drug testing protocol. And Nickel then, so he's working for the Maple Leafs, they, he knew he had to do something to control what was going into his players' bodies. That you see all the time with, you know, the Olympics and 
you know, and in any form of sport, these these uh, people getting busted for so-called drug violation when it's, you know, they're taking a simple over the counter, whatever supplement or whatever. They just weren't sure the ingredients that were going into it. And then they get busted for it when it's completely unintentional. You know, some would be intentional uh, depending on the si situation. But in this case, Nickel just wanted to control what was, you know, his players were consuming. So, um, you know, back in those days, the dressing rooms would have tables that had all sorts of, you know, energy bars and protein supplements and stuff from companies that um, had licensing, licensing deals with the league or they wanted them. They're just trying to expose their stuff to the players. Hopefully one of them would like it and they'd, they'd go for there. But a lot of these, you know, new um, sort of early stage development supplements would not list their ingredients. So guys would just grab it. They have no idea what they're taking. They didn't know what might show up in it. So, the big guy that uh, Nickel was involved with is a guy named Gary Roberts, who was a hard-nosed, really tough hockey player who, um, you know, had a great career, but he really um, has exploded after the NHL with his work with uh, up-and-coming athletes, specifically hockey players, and his work with nutrition and training. And anyone who wants to be successful goes to the Gary Roberts, you know, training schools and education and he just helps elevate and escalate players to the next level um so nickel himself he has a he's got a good background he goes he went to mcgill university in montreal um so he had a kinesiology degree and a biomechanics degree also a former football player and he learned how to mix supplements with um some sports performance nutritionists and um, some bodybuilding gurus and, and, you know, people who knew the business and industry and um, also, you know, with biochemists to consult for nutritional supplement companies. Um, and he just really got involved and um, immersed in the whole idea of, of supplements. And he even wrote a book talking about the benefits of amino acids for athletes. And so now he's looking at experimenting with different types of formulas for this, you know, drug-free, you know, additive free type of sports drink because you know talking about that idea with Gatorade you're, you're just drinking like you said sugar water with some color added into it um so he he did this like full hands-on so he was analyzing the results from the athletes he'd look at their performance uh, measures he'd look at weight body fat strength speed everything you know all different measures of health you would do blood and urinalysis, hydration levels, like, like the full deal. He wasn't just um, kind of going to this blind. He was looking at every um, kind of scenario and variable possible. So he locks in on this recipe, starts giving it to his players. And what he, come up, he come, sorry, comes up with is a somewhat sweet, um, slightly medicinal beverage that had, you know, not that heavy sugar syrupy, um, blood sugar spiking insulin releasing type sports drinks that you're used to so uh, you know like with a lot of other stories this was never made for sale this was just meant for the needs of the athletes they weren't looking at any other reason from that so what's interesting though is the biosteel is so it comes in a powder form there's some ready mix available versions but in the powder form when you mix it it, it happens to be bright pink and he he wanted to be adding a color just to make it i don't know whether look enticing or just not as bland but he didn't want to do any artificial dyes which obviously gatorade does in spades it's you know the whole basis of their to me of that whole industry of the sports drink industry is putting these almost fluorescent type colors so they stand out on shelves you can't miss any gatorades when they're like blues and greens and yellows and pinks it's just you know part of the promotion of it so what ha what gave the dr uh, biosteel that bright pink when they talk about drink the pink is beet is red beet powder which actually has some uh, performance enhancing um properties it's i've used red beet powder um it was really big in the olympics in london in 2012 you'd see a lot of athletes drinking this red concoction and it was a red beet based powder so he used this in his drink so completely natural but it gives it this amazing pink color um, again one of those happy accident things because that's 
really, you know, kind of the basis of the movement of BioSteel is drink the pink and that pink just stands out everywhere. So from a branding and marketing standpoint, amazing. So what happens is, you know, people, like you said, you can't miss this pink liquid. So people are starting to notice NHL players drinking it and they're seeing it on TV and, you know, they see that hashtag drink the pink and, you know, wondering what this is. So a few years later, Nickel um, is that guy, Mike Camilleri, I mentioned he's now with the LA Kings. So he gives him some of this, you know, new drink at one of his preseason training camps and Camilleri loves his stuff. And he'd been spending a lot on supplements. This guy was, is a really hardcore. I mean, all athletes are hardcore trainers, but Camilleri, I know he's the type of guy who would have a game and then he would go work out after the game too. just always want to be on top of his fitness and strength. So he'd been saying he'd been spending a lot of money on supplements and doesn't know what's safe. And right here, he's got a product that's completely addressing all those needs. So then they start looking into the, um, idea of breaking into you know marketing this thing and they you know met up with some different people and the idea was to sell the drink the crystals of the drink in tubs for 60 bucks a piece target serious athletes um you know if the idea being sports are expensive and say in the case of hockey you know even the cheapest good hockey stick is at least 100 bucks and the average ones are 250 to 300 so the idea is if uh, players, you know, at whatever level are willing to put down a lot of money on equipment or whatever, they'd probably pay 60 bucks to have um, a sports drink that's going to, you know, stand up to any testing or whatever issues that can come from supplement use. So they had the idea of selling the drink to the NHL and players, you know, this is one of those things, word of mouth is so powerful still as much as people can try to sell an image and an idea and and try to push something down people's throats word of mouth is still so big whether it's you know things like this or restaurants or tv shows or movies that that momentum from word of mouth can't really be stopped so you know people are starting to use this in other dressing rooms and other training camps um there's a guy named matt price from the la kings he's the head strength and condition coach and you know biosteel he love that it was you know product tested batch by batch in independent labs so they could certify what the composition was whenever there was um, drug regulators so he recognized it as a really special product and then basically with you know some of these key players here they you know they built this following in the nhl and you know teams were you know cutting checks again this information from a website called canadianbusiness.com about some of the little details which i find interesting just to see how something can grow when they're basically competing against this mammoth of gatorade um so the teams are working you know cutting their own little checks with um with biosteel i don't know if it was named biosteel at this point but with the people who are developing it um you know despite the fact they can have any supplement they want at any time not to you know mention gatorade is just comes in droves uh every day and so from there they go into working with a few other trainers and people in the gyms and then they're trying to get it into lower and i don't want to say lower level but you know below the nhl there's um what we have here in canada is uh called the canadian hockey league the chl and they have a league in the west called the whl there's one in ontario called the ohl and one in quebec and this is where, if you don't know hockey, this is where future NHL players come from. This isn't the minor leagues where they're already professional player. These are younger guys from around 16 to upward, getting close to 20. But it's where amateur players are drafted out of. And now has become really, to me, like professional hockey. I live in London, Ontario, and we have the London Knights who are kind of the crown jewel of the OHL and won the Memorial Cup last year and produced a ton of amazing players over the years. So just recently, if you again, if you follow hockey, Mitch Marner, who plays with the Leafs, came out of Toronto um, the last year with Matthew Kachuk, who's in Calgary, Christian Dvorak, who's in Arizona, um, Max Domi, also in Arizona, Corey Perry played here, um, like John Tavares is here for a bit, Pat Kane, Dave Boland. You can trace a ton of good players back to 
um, London and the OHL. So now they're looking at getting to uh, BioSteel to the younger players. So what happens in 2010, we have a big show called Hockey Night in Canada, which every Saturday night, you know, has featured and showcased games. And it's just, it's a Canadian institution and we live and die by hockey, especially Hockey Night in Canada. So it's during the second period intermission. And there's a guy named Ron McLean, who's one of the hosts of Hockey Night in Canada. And he's interviewing Gary Roberts, that hockey player I mentioned before, um, who kind of, you know, is getting things going with this whole movement. And he asked him about the pink liquid that he sees all these players drinking. And he's, he's wondering, you know, kids want to know what the pros are drinking. They want to do what the pros are. So, you know, Gary Roberts says it's BioSteel. And then that basically starts to explode the whole movement. And now they're, you know, just seeing a demand for this stuff. They want to do what the NHL players are doing. Um, now they're now, basically now they're in business. So they, one of their goals is they didn't want to get lost in the, in health food stores. If you've ever been into a nutrition store, it's just a blur of products. Everything's right there. It's hard to stand out. <clears throat> it's the reason a lot of uh, supplement companies will do ridiculous packaging, especially the, you know, the pre-workout uh, industry. They're, their packages are just obscenely gouty, I guess you'd say, just so they can stand on the shelf. So <clears throat> their worry is with BioSteel is that it would kind of, um, you know, get lost in the shuffle potentially of the health food store. And that wasn't necessarily their main goal. So they wanted to get into sports stores. In Canada, we have a big store called Sport Check. They generally don't carry things like that. You know, they might have the odd energy bars and whatnot. Um, power bar or whatever. <clears throat> so they start getting into these stores. They're getting into um, other gyms. They're getting into um, uh, like fitness stores, like treadmill, cardio selling stores. And so basically it goes from there. And now they're really exploding, I'd say, with the people they're involved with. I, I'd say the biggest deal right now is that they're working with Connor McDavid, who is the next phenom, well, he's, he's a phenom already in the NHL and, and kind of the next Sidney Crosby. And he's very loyal to it. And the, the idea, the thing I love about it is they kind of create this movement. It's kind of cool where it's, you don't want to say like an underground thing, but not going with the status quo, which is always like the Gatorade and, and the whatnot. They're just, they're starting kind of a new um, dynamic with the athletes and what they're drinking and how it's affecting their performance. And, you know, if it's not good, the players aren't going to use it. They can use whatever they want. These guys are millionaires, so they're sticking with it. So basically, what is BioSteel? It's obviously performance-based. It's for athletes. It's for people working out. So let's look a little more at what we're dealing with here. BioSteel also deals with, like, proteins and stuff. I'm focusing just on the um, kind of performance powder. So basically, the way to look at BioSteel is a healthier... Gatorade in the sense that it's doing things that Gatorade is kind of claiming to do as far as hydration um, and looking at the loss of electrolytes, but it's doing it in a natural way and without sugar and without additives and without flavor. So that's the whole idea. When you're exercising super hard, what's happening is, you know, over the course of a workout or event or game or whatever, and high levels of intensity and sweat, that's when you start to lose, you know, valuable electrolytes like sodium, potassium, whatever. And, you know, losing these can lead to cramping, fatigue, um, lack of concentration, lack of performance. So, the, you know, the idea with something like Gatorade is you get those electrolytes back into you. And with BioSteel, though, you're doing this, but in a more natural way without the, you know, artificial ingredients. And like I said, it's completely drug tested and NSF certified. So, you know, you're drinking a clean clean product they take it a step further though not just with the that mineral blend like the electrolytes in the body they add in amino acids which is kind of a real step up um you know so the amino acids are not to get into too much detail basically building blocks of protein they're quickly absorbed into the body it helps kickstart recovery it's why you know people supplement with branched chain amino acids you got leucine isoleucine and valine they are they go more directly into the muscle they can bypass the liver they can be used for muscle energy they help prevent muscle breakdown they promote recovery sooner they can um, promote natural good growth hormone levels 
So good for athletes who are training hard. It's got a also got a blend of B vitamins. And again, you know, B vitamins good for things like energy, but also for metabolizing uh, macronutrients like fat, carbohydrate, protein, which again are obviously at the basis of our energy. And after that, they've got just more of these natural based ingredients. So like I said, they've got the amino acid blend, uh, the mineral blend, which has uh, not just potassium and, and sodium, but zinc, magnesium, calcium. And then after that, the ingredients, they've got a, a mixed natural mixed berry blend. They have that beetroot, like I said, sea salt in it. There's some stevia for sweetener. Um, they use some magna sweet, which is like a licorice root, partly for the flavor. There's some sweet ambrosia again in there. There's some chicory roots, um, lactic acid powder, gum. That's kind of the blend of the whole thing. So, you know, simple ingredients that you know and you can pronounce and you've seen before and they exist in nature the in one serving uh one serving of it with the powder is around seven grams so in that it's basically no cal it's got six calories in it there's no fat there's sodium we got 125 milligrams 31 milligrams of potassium there's only one gram of carbohydrates so it's not any sugar-based issue um calcium magnesium zinc um it's got the you know, vitamin B12, the folate, the whole amino acid blend, like the branch chains, the leucine, the valine, the isoleucine, it's got around, I think, two and a half grams, um, which is pretty good in the one serving. Some people would say you need maybe more f five grams, but that might be more specific to an actual strength training workout as opposed to uh, a, a game or a practice or whatever that's a little more, you know, cardiovascular based as well as, you know, muscle energy as well, too. So how does it taste? It's interesting. It's kind of, it pushes a mixed berry flavor. It's when I, the first time I try this, I mean, I'll tell you how I've played around with this because I've been wanting to use it for a while. I was expecting it to be an overly sweet kind of disgusting. I thought it would be too, not artificially flavored, but um, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought it would be just a little more like in your face, uh, too much sweetener type thing, but it's, it is lightly flavored. It doesn't, feel heavy at all and it's it is it is mixed berryish to me it more almost tastes like bubble gum a little bit maybe i'm just not picking it up i mean it kind of depends on the amount of um liquid you mix it in i tend to not always mix it in a ton of liquid so they the the recommended use is to take one to two scoops a couple times a day with uh, 250 to 500 mill sorry milliliters of water so that will affect the flavor, whether you're using one scoop or two, like the one serving. So I've just been using one. And to me, it's got that lighter, I guess, lighter berry flavor, but just a touch of, of bubble gum. Not that that's a bad thing at all, but that's just what I was picking up on. So I'd been wanting to, to use this and test it for a while. So I'd been, before recording this, I've been taking the past few weeks and just using BioSteel in every different situation I can think of. I would have it just as kind of a hydration thing early in the morning. I would use it before workout. I would use it during a workout. I would use it during a hockey game. I still play a decent level of hockey. I'd use it just before game. I tried all the different scenarios just to see what it was like, like whether it was better before, whether it was better during, whether it's not necessarily, I would say, a recovery drink, which it could, you know, it can be, but the idea is just it's got that, a mineral and electrolyte blend, which is a little more geared around the actual performance, whether it's a game or training or whatnot. So personally, when I used it before training, I, I didn't notice um, a huge difference as far as, uh, maybe say, energy or strength. This is just on workout days. So this might be, I've been also playing around with different, some pre-workout um, supplements that will contain, uh, you know, a bit of caffeine, um, things like beta alanine. So you, you you notice that obviously peak in energy and beta alanine gives you sort of that skin tingling. So you're not going to get that from this. It's not designed around that sort of thing. It avoids stimulants and caffeines. So I felt pretty hydrated off it, which is, you know, when you're dehydrated and when you're, you feel like you've had a good amount of water. So that's how I felt like. So th to me, the workouts were at least as good. Um, the difference is when I used it during the workout. That's when I noticed a huge difference. So I would mix it up with about 500, just one scoop again with about 500 milliliters of water and sip it through the workout. And 
I notice a, a no, honestly noticeable difference as far as getting extra reps out. Um, I was doing uh, the last one I did was on a back workout day, and I was I noticing on deadlifts I was getting a couple extra reps out and um, a bit heavier weights. And to the point, I, I've taken so many supplements over the years. I'm aware there's there can be a placebo effect sometimes, but I've taken so many things that I kind of just disregard it almost and go about what I'm doing. You know, I kind of lock into a zone when I work out and I listen to a lot of podcasts when I work out, which isn't exactly the most rock star thing. It's probably boring. I listen to a lot of history <laughs> podcasts and whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm focused in on that. And the, the, a couple workouts ago, I was noticing my strength seemed good and I felt more energized, not, not like that, you know, caffeine spike energized, but a little more like vitality. And it took me a second to wonder why that was. Cause I totally forgot I was drinking and testing out this product. Like I said, cause I'm, I'm kind of used to just locking in and going with it. And I, I almost had to take a second, like what's different here. And then I realized, Oh yeah, I'm actually trying to supplement here. Um, so as far as, you know, that muscle energy from the amino acid blend and the electrolyte blend. And then that day I did uh, some extra cardio. I've been mixing in some um, cardio after workouts now as well. Just kind of uh, playing around with trying to lower body fat levels, see, see how it helps as far as that. And for, for whatever I'd normally go and lock in at a certain, um, you know, kind of revolutions per minute, I'd use one of the ellipticals. And on these workouts where I was drinking the biosteel during the workout, my rate of motion was higher and I was able to go longer without even noticing it. And to me, again, I attribute that to the electrolyte blend, the minerals, the, and again, the hydration that's coming from the whole thing. So definitely notice a big difference. Then using it during a hockey game, and hockey is the ultimate in, in high-intensity training. You're going for these you know, minute and a half shifts, full out, resting on the bench for a couple minutes, going back out there, using every muscle in your body. It's super high intense. You got to be alert. It, it's really the ultimate form of training. It's why hockey, all athletes are in amazing shape, but hockey players really are. So I used it during one game. The problem is the last game I played, we normally we play around six or seven on Monday nights. Our game was moved later till 10 o'clock. So that combined with we were playing a team that absolutely shellacked us. So sometimes all the energy in the world's not going to help when you're in those circumstances in a game. So I, again, I felt at least as good as I'd normally feel. Um, maybe at the end I felt, I honestly felt maybe a little better at the end now that I think about it. Um, I was able to, I played defense. So I was able to take a few full up the ice rushes at the end of the game and felt as good um, as I would at the start, which isn't always the case. By the end, you're, you're, you're kind of wiped. And like I said, on that game, that night we were playing a little later, um, different factors involved. And then sometimes you're just frustrated with the game and whatnot. So, but found it helpful in there and I'll still be using it to try during different games. Like I said, I've been playing around with the different ways to use it. Um, I haven't, in the next game, I was going to try taking two servings as opposed to one. So I'll still play around with it. But from what I'm finding, um, again, like I said, this is kind of a product i had been waiting for forever. Like things like Gatorade, I try not to touch, but you still want a little bit of performance boost and you're not sure where to get that from. I'd sometimes try and make my own little Gatorade concoctions, but it's kind of hard to, um, get things balanced right. And with Gatorade, uh, if I did use it, I would at least mix it half and half with water because I just didn't want to deal with the full serving and amount of sugar. So with BioSteel, it's it's honestly, it's the supplement I wish I had invented. Uh, this is the type of thing I think is awesome. And as far as kind of the movement it's making and everything. So from my experience, that's I love it for during workouts. And it's probably something I'll use for quite a while just because I like the way it feels. Without that pre-workout supplement caffeine jittery kind of feeling if you've tried these things you know what i mean so this to me this is cleaner energy and and sustained energy so the one thing i don't like i mean no supplements perfect the one issue i have is the fact that biosteel actually does use sucralose an artificial sweetener um in the mix and it's just this is my only issue because it's not it's it's listed on the packet i buy the single serving package you can buy in these little 
tube case thing so you can just take each one rip it open throw it mix it up there you go it's that sucralose is listed on the package on that little package it's not listed on the website when they run down the ingredients so that's that's my only issue and i hate nitpicking and, and some will there's as many people say sucralose and artificial sweeteners like that are not a problem as there are who say it is a problem i'm not a fan i've covered it a lot uh, I'll, I'll link up one of the shows I did on artificial sweeteners and sucralose. Um, some will say sucralose is better in aspartame as it's derived from sugar. But when you look at it a little more, um, it's potentially derived from a kind of a sugar-like concoction that is kind of a trade secret that is um, based around sucralose. It's not maybe natural, like a natural sugar they're getting it from. They're, they... With BioSteel, I know they don't use a lot, and it's kind of mixed with the stevia, so, or I think with the stevia, so there's more of uh, higher amounts of stevia than there is to the sucralose, which is which is fine, but it can give it a little bit of that artificial sweetener aftertaste, and if you've drank those, you know what I mean. So I kind of picked up on that a little bit. I don't know if I'm more sensitive to those things because I don't drink a lot of, of stuff like that. Um, so that... And there's, again, like I said, there's as many people who say it's okay that say it's a problem. Like with, with sucralose, there's some research from the Washington School of Medicine that says it can really actually raise your blood sugar levels by 20% compared to just water, you know, for something that doesn't have any sugar or carbohydrates in it. I don't know. It's, you, you might be not worried and it might not be a huge deal. It's just one of, it's just the little thing that threw me off a bit to see that when I looked on the package, I was like, ah, I don't, I don't want to see, I want to see zero artificial anything and there's sucralose right there well you know if it's in a small enough amount then cool but that that's my only beef with it so you know take that for what it's worth but to sum it up I, like i said this is the one of the supplements i've always been kind of waiting for is this natural gatorade without the crap the, the benefits that you would want from gatorade but none of the fillers and sugar and garbage that comes with it so um, yeah, I think it's amazing. You can go to biosteel.com if you want to read more about it. Again, I have no connection to them at whatsoever, so I'm not promoting. I'm just sharing something that I use and like, and we're, we're seeing biosteel grow and it's awesome to see that sometimes these big companies like Gatorade have to be taken down a peg or two and love seeing, I love seeing the movement with the drink, the pink and the whole deal. So that's it for me. I know this is a long show, but I think it's really worthwhile looking into kind of the next movement of supplements as people are becoming more health conscious and wanting to see the cleanest things possible they're putting in their bodies they want and especially from an athlete's standpoint they want the best they don't want to compromise anything and products like this are uh, helping pave the way so if you want to if you have any questions or other t uh, supplements you want to see reviewed just write to info at regainedwellness.com. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe on iTunes so you get the show automatically sent to you. And uh, yeah, I'll be back next week with another episode. And I'm mixing these sport supplement reviews every odd week or so. So, But if you sus subscribe, you'll automatically get them. I don't have to worry about checking it out. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for listening. See you later. Bye.